TMX Atrium uh, in the last few years have been investing quite heavily into the Russian market and, and what we've done is bringing uh, infrastructure into into that market so that we could allow uh, and, and offer to foreign firms the ability to trade uh, into the Russian market and that's mostly uh, onto MySex and RTS which have recently merged. Uh, that merger on its own has been bringing uh, quite a lot of opportunities to our customers um, and also the ability for them to start trading different asset classes. What, um, what we've seen in terms of opportunities from the firm's perspective is that as we see more foreign investment into Russia and, and a desire from the global community to trade Russia, um, we are at the forefront of uh, providing and enabling those firm trading into Russia. And that was really the, f the first wave of people moving into Russia. What we're starting to see now is Russian investment firms and, and Russian funds looking um, towards the West, looking to go into um, other locations. That's probably the second wave of uh, where we're seeing opportunities from, uh, from Russia. Well, let's start with the opportunities. It, it presents quite a lot of opportunities in terms of the ability for, uh, for firms to vary their exposure. Um, and, and if we take something that's fairly strong in, in Russia, which is uh, the commodities, uh, you, can, you can not only trade commodity-related equities in Russia, but you can trade similar uh, equities and, and have a balanced portfolio across the globe. Uh, of course, as there are changes within this portfolio, you want to execute those trades as quickly as possible or, or make sure that your, your strategy is, is executed synchronously. Uh, that uh, presents quite a lot of challenges, actually. In, in order for you to do that, you need to have infrastructure that is present not only in Russia, but also in other trading locations. Um, so a lot of what we're seeing, due to that uh, natural multinational element of the Russian trade is that the infrastructure is quite key. If you want to be able to, uh, to perform in those markets, you need to be relying on to, onto a very solid and reliable infrastructure. That's probably the, the first thing. The second thing is, again, as we move on to different asset classes, um, Forex being probably the, the most prevalent one and, and by its nature truly global, um, we are seeing a, a lot of interest into uh, the Forex market in, in Russia and that's on the back of uh, contracts that are being either traded in, in Russia directly onto, onto MySex or uh, on other exchanges that are, that are trading forwards uh, in, in the currency. Again, critical to, to good execution is the infrastructure that's backing up uh, this execution. So I think if we, if we look at the trend of what is currently going on with the Russian market, it is certainly going towards more liquidity and depth into, into the market. I think the, the government is, is very pro-business, it's, it's trying to develop the market. However, there is still a significant perception of Russia versus other uh, locations where people want to invest. Um, I think what was uh, very interested interesting was um, how the Moscow exchange added its own IPO onto its own exchange. And if you look at what's going on, generally speaking, with firms in Russia, um, a lot of them are listing outside of Russia. And that's probably one of the things um, that um, participants in the Russian market needs to work on, which is bringing those IPOs back, back to Russia, making sure that firms that are Russian choose Russia as the primary listing. Because what is that going to do? That's going to bring more stocks, more liquidity into, into the Russian market. Um, the second thing that obviously everyone is looking at is a lot of the liquidity in the stocks is happening in other locations than Russia. Um, and so looking at bringing this liquidity back onto the market, uh, a number of brokers are, are, are providing to um, potential investors situation and, and um, instruments that kind of mimic the, um, uh, the, um, the Russian market itself, but some investors are still worried about investing directly into Russia. And I think what, what needs to change there is um, 
the the general perception of the Russian market, and that's that's not something that's going to happen in uh, in a few months. We are all all aware of that. But I think um, all the participants in that market are definitely making sure that uh, the story of Russia is, is heard, uh, and that uh, there is a, a better understanding of. Uh, the way the Russian market works. And I think education is probably key uh, for uh, more liquidity and depth into into the Russian market. So I think with with all the participants and and you know the the fact that TMX Atrium went into Russia is is a testament to that. We are seeing opportunity into Russia. A lot of the the investment managers are starting to see that potential. Um, it's about changing the market. It's about transforming it into something that's more in line with the, the general standards. That's probably another area that, that will help the, the Russian market be um, be more liquid and, and have more depth, is, is transforming them into something that's more aligned with what everyone else in the investment community is used to. Uh, so moving to T plus two is, is a very good example of that. Um, that's bringing it in line with uh, what the, the rest of the Russian, uh, sorry, the rest of what the investment community is used to. Um, Things like that, things like um, enabling more of electronic trading, uh, allowing execution through those electronic trades uh, for all of the stocks. That's the, all those are things that will help the, the Russian market become uh, more liquid. Uh, the other thing that's very interesting in, in the Russian market as well, which I think will bring more liquidity, is the fact that you have a multi-asset play. Uh, it is the fact that you have fixed income, that you have equities, and, and that you have forex. All of that happening in the, in a single location, I think, was was the move of all those centers together in in the future. Um, that will probably also help bring more liquidity, make it a, a center for um, the investment community to trade more in. <clears throat> and then maybe maybe the last thing and last thought um, is if you look at Russia and and its place on in the globe, um, you you can start off think, okay, well, maybe it is one of the locations where you can have east-west meeting uh, and, and trading um, asset classes and, and uh, instruments that are a mix of east and west.